special treat. So as you know, uh, got the channel memberships going and one of the perks of being a channel membership or channel member, I might say, is you get to choose what I cook. So today I am cooking something that I posted for the, all the channel members to vote on to see what I'm going to cook. Uh, it's right here, what I want to cook. Uh, blackened catfish over cheesy grits was one. That's what we're doing today, by the way. Uh, chicken parm sliders. Uh, oh, cheesesteaks 2.0, been meaning to do that. Might do that soon. And then the other is just cook whatever, hussy. But today, today is going to be this blackened catfish over cheesy grits. We're going to do everything on this blackstone. We're going to cook the grits on the blackstone. So with that said, for the grits, we got to get these things going, okay? Because grits, grits takes at least 20 minutes to cook. 20 minutes. So I got to get going, okay? Focus over here, over here. So what I got here, I got a pan, a spoon, I got one cup of really good chicken broth. This is homemade chicken broth that I made. If you don't have homemade, you can always do store bought Okay, so what we're gonna do is, it's just a pot, regular pot, and we're gonna put our chicken stock in here, all right? There we go, you see all that goodness that came out of there? Boy, homemade chicken stock, it's the ticket, y'all. It's good groceries. So we're just gonna get that going, okay? It's one cup. We've got our black stone on high. We're gonna bring this to a bowl, okay? And when we get, bring that to a bowl, we got a quarter cup of stone ground. This is House of Altry. This is yellow. I actually mix it up. I normally like to get white. This is yellow. Don't matter, taste is fine to me. We'll pour this quarter cup, this quarter cup of grits, one cup of water or whatever, and then a quarter cup of grits, all right? We're gonna pour that in there and we're gonna cook it low and slow. If we gotta cover it, we gotta put it on too, all right? The other part of this is catfish. I got one, two, three, I got five nice pieces of catfish right here. Went to a local place, Todd Seafood, Thomasville, North Carolina. They've been around for a long time. Awesome people, they always have good groceries there. If you're around Thomasville area, you want some seafood, go to Todd's. Also got some shrimp. If you saw my post, my community post, I saw, you know, that's where I got the catfish. I also got the shrimp as well. All right, so blackened catfish. Got to make the blackening seasoning, okay? Here it is. I've got one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon black pepper, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, half a, one teaspoon of dried parsley. This is one teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, one teaspoon of paprika, and this is uh, dried parsley. This is parsley, thyme, and there's some rosemary. And we're just gonna give us a good shake. We're just gonna give us a good shake. Get it all mixed up really, really well. Get it ready for our catfish. Boy, that smells, it's very fragrant, very fragrant. All right, y'all, so our uh, chicken stock, it's come up to a bowl. All right, now, take our quarter cup of grits here. This is our grits. Man, that chicken stock smells wonderful. We're just gonna come in here. Just very, very lightly. You want to pour a little bit, and you want to stir a little bit. And now, I like to put a little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt in there like that. All right. Now, we're going to cut this down to a simmer. And then, we'll put our, we're going to put our top on it, and it's going to let it go, 20 minutes, all right? You might have to stir it intermittently, okay? Every five minutes, check on it. And then, you know, just keep on, keep on. All right, after that, then we'll start putting some butter in that and the cheese. All right, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. Let's check on these grits. I can't be forgetting about this because I need it. It's going to burn my hand off. Oh yeah, they're nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful grits. They've thickened up well. Probably wish I'd have made a little bit more now that I think about it, but it's okay. Now we need to get some butter in here. We need some butter. Butter. Good old amount of butter right there. That makes them creamy too. Now, I got some uh, aged, sharp white cheddar cheese that I'm gonna put in here too. So I'm gonna put a good, generous amount. 
I'm gonna say about a cup, okay? I want them really cheesy, cheesy like me. Put it over here, Just put it off to the side. Let it chill, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna stay warm over there. If it needs a little bit of moisture, we'll just put a little bit of moisture in there, no big deal. Now it's time for the catfish. Catfish! Got our catfish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful catfish. I got a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna take, and just kinda moisten it a little bit. And then we're just gonna take our rub, our blackening seasoning, and we're gonna be like really, really liberal to this, okay? We don't want, we don't want no piece that doesn't have blackening seasoning on it. A little bit of oil. Now if you notice, I got, these fillets are nice and dry. You want to make sure they're dry and give a good crust on it. The moisture, the wetness, it'll cause it to steam, will not get a good crust on it. So that's main. So I'm going to season up the rest of these and we're going to get them on the blackstone, all right? All right, there you go. These catfishes, they're beautiful, beautiful. I, man, I'm really, really looking forward to these. Like I said, you want that seasoning. You want it caked, caked on there. Okay. I want to go wash my hands, and I'll be right back. All right, got my hands washed. Also, got a little pan here. I want to take some butter. Maybe two tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna take a little salt, a little pepper. Oh, I tell you what, let's take a little bit of this seasoning mix. This is gonna be our kind of like our sauce. And we're gonna put this over. We're gonna put our grits down, then our catfish, and then we're gonna lay a sauce over it. Garlic paste. Remember, this is my new best friend. Love that stuff. And then we're gonna put a little bit of lemon juice in there as well. But for right now, we're just gonna we can take this spoon, this is our grit spoon. It's okay, it's gonna be part of the grits anyway. I'm gonna put this off to the side. All right, now, I wanna get my griddle, see where it's at temperature-wise. We're 400, 450 right there. 450 to 425. A lot of people's asked me about this. It's a Thermapen IR. See the link below, get you one. Love this thing. So we're gonna get some oil going. This is a canola olive oil blend, as always. Not always, sometimes I use clarified butter. Today I didn't. And we're gonna take our catfish. Here we go. Look at that. That's what you want right there. Man, what seasoning, smells awesome. Come in here with a little bit more of this oil. Boy, that's a little potent. You just want to leave it alone. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. I'm actually going to put a little bit of butter in here too. Help it kind of brown up. Shoo wee. Look at there. Got our grits right there. All right, y'all, it's been about three minutes. We're going to flip this catfish, all right? Where are we at? Oh, yes, baby. Yes, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. We're just going to let that go for another two to three minutes. It doesn't take long for catfish. You can take your thermopin after you hit the IR, then you can come in here. You want your catfish to be about 145, 150 degrees. I like mine about 150. Just, just my preference, okay? Yep, so we're at about 120 degrees. Once we get this flipped, should be good to go. All right, two to three minutes, we're gonna be eating good. Eat good up in this neighborhood. All right, we're just gonna cut all the burners off. Uh, catfish just done, pretty much. We're just gonna let that residual heat kind of carry it. <coughs> Boy, that cayenne gonna get you. Yeah, we're at 145 right there, 147 right there. Good to go, good to go. All right. We're gonna plate these bad boys up. We're gonna put our cheesy grits down and we're gonna put our catfish over that. All right, y'all, let's get to it. I just want y'all to see this. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. Let's get it plated.
Move this out right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Golly. All right, we're gonna come here with our catfish. Just like that. Just like that. Boy, that is a pretty, pretty plate. Now, get our knife. Get our knife here. I want to get some. Let's get some lemon wedges kind of around here. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Now, I had to put my parsley down here because the wind was getting all crazy. I'm just going to do a little parsley. Beautiful. Ready? Beautiful. Oh man, forgot, forgot my sauce, y'all. Why'd y'all let me do that? Why'd y'all let me forget my sauce? Gosh. All righty. Let me get a little bit of this, a little bit of this sauce right here. Just like that. Good night, boy. Now, it's more of this parsley. Oh, Lee boy. Boy, that's some good looking groceries right there now. I'm here to tell you. Let's give it a try. All right, y'all, hey, catfish is done. It turned out amazing, amazing. It's time to get in here. Ooh, it's nice, nice and delicate. Make sure I get plenty of those cheese grits. There we go. Wanna get one of these lemon wedges too, okay? Put a little bit of this lemon on it. Let's give it a try. Boy, it's got some heat to it. Taste that cayenne. Taste that blackening seasoning. But the cheesiness of those grits, mm, along with that pepperiness of that blackening season, and the catfish is just succulent. I mean, it's meaty, whitey. When I say whitey, it's a, it's like a flaky, flaky, you know, meaty kind of flavor. It's beautiful. Dang. Y'all, y'all want to make this dish right here. Uh, I appreciate uh, channel members helping me out with this one. Appreciate Mr. McCoy, Paul McCoy. He actually recommended this. And like I said, I put it on a poll and they, they voted on it. This was unanimous, not unanimous, but it was, it had the most like, uh, most votes. Okay. Uh, you know, again, channel membership, totally optional. You still get these videos right here for free. But like I said, these folks, they voted on what we're going to eat today. So if you can't do it, you can't do it. I love each and every one of you, no matter what. Everybody, it's been a lot of people been with me for a long time. I just appreciate it. Hey y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, folks, Hunger Hussy is out. Bye, y'all. Boy, some good catfish.